Certificate of Secondary Examination, KCAC, entered the second day with a death being reported in Mumias, Kakamega County. The deceased candidate's family claims their son died in school, allegations that the government has refuted. As NTV's Ibrahim Karanja reports, eight people have been arrested in Homa Bay for engaging in alleged irregularities. The death of Kalista's Amboe Oteu, a candidate at St. Patrick Ebubere School in Mumias on the date of the official kickoff of the KCSE national exam, has drawn controversy with the family and the government divided on where the candidate died. Kati nifika shuleni, nikapata wa shaa peleka, Mumias, St. Mary's Mochari. Mimi naomba usaitisi kwa sababu sina chochote na huyo mtoto ambaye nilikuwa nimetekemea yeye kwa kusoma kwake sina chochote naomba serikali wafadhili wote sasa alikuwa anasema tu macho ndio inamsumbua akina kuwa anasema ati mwili nauma sasa mimi nikajua tu atapona si si kujua ati kumbe mtoto wangu atafarika waache kufanya mtihani however the government says that this is not true uh, the, the, the student has been ailing and had been at home. Even during rehearsals today, he never attended the rehearsals. But unfortunately this morning, we were surprised uh, to hear through the media that the parent is claiming that uh, the student went to school and when he was ready to do the exams, he collapsed and died. Uh, according to the information that we have, that is not true. In Homa Bay, eight teachers were arrested after they were allegedly found making copies of the chemistry exam paper. The teachers from Palamasogo Secondary School were arrested on Monday evening, according to Homa Bay Sub-County Police Commander Emmanuel Kiplagat, who said that they are being held at the Homa Bay Police Station. I managed to arrest eight persons due to the center manager, PG letters, and POG teachers. They were found with the government papers and exhibits have been taken. All the eight, the eight persons are in custody. The Ministry of Education has since replaced all examination officials at the school, which has 119 candidates. The Kenya National Examination Council Chief Executive Officer David Njagere has said no cases of exam theft or cheating had been reported so far. As a country, we received very good reports of cooperation by the center managers and by all the persons that they are complying with that. So we have a good start to the exams and if we continue that way, then we will secure the examinations. Njagere was speaking in Moranga during the supervision of day two of the examinations. <laughs> Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.